What are your style boards looking like? Ooh, definitely want speed cast. This could be good if I, you know, if you're guarding. OCP is nice, always. If you're surrounded, you could take burst blow. We're going to be using you a lot, so I'm not going to worry about XP share right now. So I guess you use daggers, kind of like Sharia. This is light elemental damage. You do have Photon. Last time is half, one over limit. Pretty good. Oh, you get two base art combos. Rain at which the over limit gauge decreases is reduced when attacked. Increases magic damage sustained while guarding by 10%. I'll take that. I don't know how much I'm going to make use of thievery, so I don't really want to worry about that. Increases the rate at which the rave gauge fills during battle. Any rave bonus is good. Combo plus is not really useful for you if you're going to be in the back casting a lot. I'm assuming you get some base arts if you have these skills here. This probably applies to magic, so a crit chance is good. Oh, it shows you, like, all the ones you need. Interesting. Hey. I got all of this line done. Speedy item is good. And I'll, I'll save your 100 points, to be honest. Spada, let's grab you experience share. And Elia, if there's also experience share for you, we will grab that for you. Oh, but we need 360. You all get, like, base plus. Innocence is probably a case of, like, most of the characters have base arts and they could be, like, they have decent physical moves. But obviously, there are those adept to more magic. I think Kongwei has only magic, though. Yeah, Kongwei doesn't have a single physical move, so he's full-on mage. Ange has this, and then Ilya has gun arts. And, like, Spada, Ricardo, and Ruka, like, have very little magic, but they're very clearly adept for physical stuff. You have a dagger now? Yeah, you have a dagger. Kind of reminds me of Sharia from Grace's On First Instinct. Alright, well, before leaving, let's see if we can buy Ange, like, a quick little headpiece. Or something. Hello. You already have everything equipped. Although a circlet is good for you. It's good for... No, no, it's good for Conway, but for Conway, I don't think it's worth. Because I think I like something else better. Yeah, it lowers my art attack, which is why I don't want that. You can't wear the painted hat. You could wear the plaid ribbon. I think I'd rather take the circlet because it's more physical defense. You don't have a headpiece either. Ray's pretty decent. Previous slave was the wise general Orful. Her manner of speech is proof of her superior intellect. None. More TP, more HP. That's more TP. This is really interesting. I think I'd rather do this to give you a lot of TP. I'm going to take this Poison Ward from Spada and give it to Ange, because we're not using Spada right now. Also take this Rabbit's Foot and give it to Ricardo. Alright. Probably want to stock up on items, like get a lot of items. Yeah, give me like all the orange gels, all the apple gels. Oops, I have a lot of magic lens already. I'm still loaded on cash. I'll probably just take some uh, materials here, like ingredients. As many as I possibly can. Um, um, um. I could like buy everything here, what the heck? Yeah, just max out on everything, why not? Alright. You can also go see if there's any skits here. Also, we have How I Met Conway. Mr. Conway, how about the time when we met in Regnum? You know that time when I accidentally bumped into you and your book fell? Ah, uh, now that you mention it, that did happen. 
I bumped into you quite hard, but you didn't get angry at all. Did you, Mr. Conway? So when you asked me if I wanted to travel with you, I was glad someone so gentle was coming with us. You've helped us quite a lot too, despite not being reincarnated. To be fair, it would be tr troublesome for me if your journey suddenly ended. I'm sorry? No, it's nothing. It's just... I'm only helping because I'm interested in you. <laughs> Alright, that's not creepy at all. Interested? Why would you be interested in me? Oh, my bad. I didn't mean it like that. It's just that I'm glad that I got to experience a lot of things while traveling with you. I haven't been traveling that long, brother. What's with the long face, Ruka? Well, I'm worried about how Regnum must be faring. Like if the war has gotten worse enough that I might have reached Regnum already. No, there's no need to worry about that. You're right. Well, if you say so, then that must be the case. What a relief. I'm glad that you trust me, but did you consider that I might just be lying to reassure you? Really? It's rash of you just to believe my words as is. For now, why don't you decide after you've heard the reason why? I see. Then how do you know that Regnum hasn't become a battlefield yet? Towns surrounding Regnum are Nios, Garum, and Marmut. Nios is in Regnum's territory to begin with. Meanwhile, Garum tends to use their own terrain as a defensive measure to keep the war in check. Lastly, Marmut is a neutral town and has no hostilities with Regnum at the moment. I see. To sum it up, Regnum is far from any battlefield, so as of now, there's not much need to worry. That's how it is. As for Regnum's hostilities with Tenos, I've heard that its battlefield is far north. On top of that, the highways around Regnum are well supervised and maintained. And that's why there's no need to worry about your parents, Ruka. As he says. Is that not nice, Ruka? Yep, that's a relief. Thanks, Mr. Ricardo. Our bonds have strengthened. Our next destination is Regnum, correct? Uh-huh, that reminds me. Hey, Ruka, what kind of town is Regnum? Let's see. Regnum is... Wait a second. Didn't we meet at Regnum? Don't you remember? It's not like I had the time to go sightseeing. I was being chased around by the church, remember? Oh, right. Let's see. Regnum is, uh... Regnum is a town with deeply rooted history of leading the whole continent. In general, its people are prideful and stubborn. Oh, well, Ruka show doesn't look prideful. There are bound to be some exceptions in a large group of people. Force yourself to smile. I'm hurt. Hey, even I, uh, even I have pride, more or less. Where's the pride in that answer? Where's the persuasiveness to that? As I thought, you're far from the typical Regnum citizen. I think it's nice that Ruka's mild-mannered and humble. That's the only thing I praise worthy about this dummy, though. That praise doesn't make me happy at all. So, are there any other characteristics about Regnum we should know about? Regnum's rate of industrialization and production is high, but its self-sufficiency rate is unusually low. Yeah, I learned that at school. But when it comes to the war, its citizens are most indif mostly indifferent to it. This is because Regnum has enough military power and resources to hire mercenaries, so its citizens remain unaffected. So basically, they're blissfully ignorant, just like Ruka. I'm not. At the very least, you should be able to explain what kind of town your birthplace is. I have no excuse. Poor Ruka. How to speak up, my dude, and inquiry about the outcome. Hey Ruka, do you still remember what Hypno said back when? I think so. I think it was, I shall judge the consequences of your deeds myself. Indeed. I will speak my mind, which is what I just told Ruka to start doing. I don't think I've managed to accomplish anything. Even if I did manage to unify Cielo, everything still got destroyed. You still haven't remembered enough to come to a conclusion. From now on, you, still, you shall have to observe it yourself and be the judge of what Ashura has managed to accomplish. Ashura did manage to end the war, but I wonder if that even... Just the mere fact that he was able to end the war is great enough as it is. Is it? By ending the war, the soldiers who were supposed to die are able to raise their children and cultivate the land. With that, Azura had laid a foundation of prosperity for a country. It's a shame that all of it got destroyed. I wish I could have seen a flourishing Cielo. Don't we all? Any skits? It seems that the correct course of action is to outnumber the enemy in manpower. But Ashura is a force to be reckoned with for being able to overpower our troops whilst commanding a small platoon himself. To be able to intuitively grasp our movements while flexibly communicating his, with his team in response. Despite being an enemy, he's amazing on top of that. He's amazing on top of that, he's able to slay 10 men with one swing of a sword. Spreading fear among our troops, lowering their morale and breaking them down, he can't be defeated through straightforward means. 
No, perhaps Ratio no longer has any chance of winning. Sure, the one who would change Cielo, the one who would destroy and recreate this crumbling world. Bringing Ashura and Lord Himmel together might be the only way to bring peace to Cielo once more. Any others? Well, I shall be going to bed now. Me too. Good night, Spada. Right, good night. Ruka and Kangwe are both definitely sleeping. Yeah, totally sleeping. I mean, yeah, they, they fall asleep in like a minute. Such a shame when the secret garden is right next door. A pilgrimage that you definitely have to take if you're a man. Huh? Oh, did I wake him up? He literally said he was going to bed like uh, two minutes ago, dude. Ah, oh, I can't eat anymore. Sleep talking. And he's dreaming about food too? Typical. Oh, well, should be fine as long as he's not awake. What are you doing? N nothing, just go into the bathroom. That's the girl's room. If you're looking for the bathroom, it's over there. Hurry up. You were saying something? N nothing, I'll be going now. Hopeless brat. Oh, Spada. Yo, headachey Elia. Elia, is your headache from yesterday gone? Yep, I'm alright now. Were you worried? Maybe she had a teething fever. After all, the church talk was pretty complex. Take a crack at a joke, Ruka. I believe in you. Maybe you'll be better at jokes this time. Yeah, I might have been too complex for the both of you to understand. Huh? Crap, that might have come off different as I intended. Got a problem? Just because you can't study doesn't mean that you can bring- that you can brag, got that? Basically, you think we're stupid, huh? Ugh, oh, that is- honestly, I didn't mean for it to come off that way. I want you to know that I didn't think you guys would take offense. I apologize from the bottom of my heart, uh... What the heck are you saying? I mean, I ended up using the wrong term for it. I'm sorry. Alright, now onward to... Never mind, you've improved, Ruka. I won't complain anymore. Huh? Come on, Spada, cut it out. I really made a big fuss about out of that, and I still feel guilty about it. What a Ruka thing to say, though. Yeah, I wonder where that whiny little Ruka went off to. People grow. I'm different from the me before. A bit. I wonder. Harsh. Nah, I didn't mean it that way. You might not know it yet, but you've really grown a lot. Really? Yeah, from now on, you should eat a lot, you know? Not that. But it's splendid if you can eat a lot, though. What's splendid with you? Yes. You said that for Elia's sake, didn't you? I guess? I'm sure it wasn't for Elia, but rather your pride speaking. My pride? Parade? Is it trash? Well, pretty much. It's meaning might as well be trash, yeah. But you know, it might be trash, but they'll sure save your life someday. Oh, I understand. Thanks, Spada. There are so many skits. A penny for your thoughts? I bet you're just thinking about her again. No, I wasn't thinking about Chitose or anything. So you really are thinking about her? I didn't say anything about Chitose. It's cheating. Don't ask me those questions and accuse me. It's none of your business. I can think what I want. Hey, no need to be so angry. I was just messing, messing with you. When aren't you? Did I go too far? You always go too far, Elia. Elia, small doses. You, you, you gotta, like... You gotta balance the whole teasing thing. Man, it's kind of irritating. Sorry. Huh? Why the heck are you apologizing? I was just talking to myself. Sorry. What the heck? Why are you apologizing? I just thought that... I didn't want to offend you. What? You think I go ballistic every time something I don't like happens? Yeah, a bit. You bastard. Sorry. Kidding. Ain't mad at you or anything. Though I kind of get why you're scared of a delinquent like me. I'm not really good with delinquent types. I still try to avoid them. Alright, I'll just take it easy on you until you're used to me. Right, thanks. Okay. So many and I skits. It's probably for like getting a certain bond. What's wrong, Ruka? 
I'm an only child, you see, so uh, I don't know how I'm supposed to talk to a man older than me. How much older is Conway to you then? I mean, you're like you're you're like 14 or something, if I had to guess. And I think it's hard to get used to talking to someone when you're alone with them. So Conway's probably older than you. Is that so? But since you're traveling with us from now on, I thought that I'd have to get along with you. And I think I'm trying my best to talk to you, but am I really that weird? Of course not. If you're not used to something, it's better to start getting used to it. Consider it practice. If you're not used to talking to older men, then feel free to come and talk to me. I could be your practice partner. Okay, thank you. In Ruka's case, he has to get used to talking to people in general. Oh, you know it. Now tell me honestly, what do you really think of Ruka? Why do I have to tell you that? You don't hate him or anything, do you? Of course I don't. It's just that looking at him pisses me off for some reason. Like, isn't he a little too timid? Would be better if he wasn't. Point is, will that kid ever grow a spine and stand up for himself? I see. I suppose Ruka has quite a road ahead of him. Okay, now we're done. <laughs> that was probably for getting, like, a certain bond. Oh, we have to go up here. What does happen to the fate they collected? Tell me, Tales of Innocence. Never mind, let me do this battle first. Yeah, immediately when they ask someone in chat Googles it, that makes sense. Ruka's 15, Conway's 24. What does happen to the fate? Hey Ange, I want to ask something about Cielo. Yeah, what is it? You mentioned before that the fate collected from Terra was used to maintain Cielo. What does that mean, exactly? Uh, I believe you're aware that Cielo and Terra were parts of a whole, are you not? If I recall correctly, those who were exiled from Cielo came to live in Terra. Correct, Cielo ended up using all of its power when creating Terra. To compensate for that, Cielo began collecting fate from Terra. Basically, the fate from those in Terra became necessary for Cielo's maintenance. Fate is gathered from prayers. Fate gathered from prayers is a valuable and strong power, but that too gradually decreased as time passed. Why so? Is it because we, who were once Cielans, slowly forgot our own heritage as gods? When the reason to ask for Cielo's salvation disappears, fate does too. As time passed, we eventually forgot the reason why we were exiled from Cielo, and along with it, went our fate. In order to unify the varying theories on Cielo and Taro's existence from the doctrine, the church was created. And the church was useful in sustaining Cielo. That might not be the case. When the doctrine was created, numerous interpretations started floating around, and believers followed the interpretation which suited their own preference. As a result, the fate that Cielo ended up collecting was different from what they needed. Brown. I guess it can't be helped. But that couldn't be helped, right? People aren't obligated to beg for the Cielo's forgiveness. Indeed, when you have found joy in living in Taro, you no longer consider returning back to Cielo. So ever since Cielo and Taro's separation, Cielo's destruction became inevitable. Our bond is strengthened. Oh yeah, wasn't Ricardo a Reaper in his past life? Yep, I fought the Reaper Hypnos in the battlefield before. A Reaper, huh? Someone tasked with the duty of hunting souls in Taro? Was that the case? Do you remember, Ange? Indeed, as I have told you before, Cielo was once maintained with the fake gather from Taro. However, when that fate became insufficient, human souls were used in exchange. And those who are tasked with that job are Reapers, a service that is mandatory for the people of Ratio. Only for Ratio? Why so? Since this holds fate from Taro in high regard, because if it were not for it, Cielo would not have existed. That's why they were opposed towards Ratio's Reapers gathering souls from Taro. It's weird. Why was Hypnos fighting on the battlefield? If collecting souls was necessary, then why did he abandon his role in fight? Perhaps Ratio lacked the military forces in that battle. That should not be the case. Now that you mention it, I wonder why. Maybe something was at play? Ha oh, ha! Eat this! My my, you're quite lively today. Yeah, actual experience is important and all, but you gotta review the basics from time to time. You don't rely on Durandal's power, but instead per persevere your will your own. For that, I must commend you. Why the hell are you so sappy all of a sudden? You're making me blush. Apologies for interrupting your practice. Now don't mind me. I thought he was creepy, but he doesn't seem like a bad guy. Kang Wei is just a dude. 
So back to the Regnum Pass to get to Regnum. Oh wow, you guys died in like one hit because you were super weak. Yakasoba. I just wanted to give someone else a chance to cook. 